Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting news for all the Torrent users out there. QBitTorrent 5.0 has officially dropped, and it's packed with new features, improvements, and even a sleek dark theme for the web UI. If you're a fan of this free, open-source BitTorrent client, you're going to want to hear about this update. So, let's dive into the highlights. First up, Qubit Torrent 5.0 now supports systemed power management. What does that mean for you? Well, it ensures that your torrenting activities don't get interrupted by sleep or shutdowns on systems using systemed. Great for those overnight downloads, right? But that's not all. This release introduces some awesome UI updates, like a separate dark theme for the web UI, making nighttime torrent management easier on the eyes. Plus, for Linux users, there's now support for localized man pages, and you can even set a locale if none is specified. Pretty handy for multi-language users. UbitTorrent 5.0 also brings a bunch of other cool features like the ability to pause and resume an entire BitTorrent session, new filters for tracker errors, and even a copy comment option in the Torrent List's context menu. Oh, and if you're really into managing your torrents, you'll love the new support for using regular expressions to filter torrent content. That's a power feature right there. Speaking of power, both the built-in search engine and RSS functionality got a big boost. You can now specify the Python executable path, rearrange search tabs, and lazy load search plugins for faster browsing. As for RSS, the update includes better feed handling and the ability to set delays between requests to the same host. So whether you're searching or using RSS, Qubit Torrent 5.0 is smoother than ever. The web UI also got some love. Aside from the dark theme, there's improved responsiveness, natural sorting, and even better table scrolling and selection on mobile devices. So managing your torrents on the go just got a whole lot easier. And for the more tech-savvy users out there, the web API has been updated too. It now supports asterisk SSL torrents, and you can download .torrent files using the search plugin. There's even a new endpoint for listing directory content, giving you even more control over your torrenting experience. Of course, no major update would be complete without a bunch of bug fixes, and QubitTorrent 5.0 is no exception. The developers have squashed numerous bugs to improve overall stability and reliability, making sure your downloading sessions are as smooth as possible. So, how do you get your hands on QBitTorrent 5.0? Head over to their official website and download the universal app image binary. It runs on almost any GNU GR Linux distribution without needing to install anything. Just download, launch, and you're good to go. That's all for today's update on QBitTorrent 5.0. If you're a frequent torrent user, you'll definitely want to give this version a try. Let me know in the comments which new feature you're most excited about. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more updates on your favorite open source software. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy torrenting!